Thank you. Thank you for viewing my first two videos. This is lesson three. I've got a number of emails again asking for us to continue with these videos and hopefully this is helpful to you. Today we're going to talk about how to understand or understanding how to voice your chords. Understanding what the voicings are. Now there's a couple of different ways to do this but I'm going to give you a sure fire way to do it. Um, and it's, this is not the only way, but this is a, a tried and true way to get a really nice voicing of a chord. Now what I mean by voicing is the arrangement of notes in the chord. Every chord basically has a root, third, fifth, seventh. A root, which is the one, third, third note, fifth note, seventh. Now a really cool way to figure out voicings um, would be to establish a pattern for left hand voicings and for right hand voicings. Of course if you play organ then those right oh those left hand voicings would be a little different. But what I'm going to do is just give you a basic theory of the right hand and the left hand. Now for the left hand generally as a rule I like to play the root and the seventh of the chord. So if we're in the key of C and we want to play a C major 7th chord, I would play C as the lowest note, then the 7th, which is B natural. That's the left hand, and you have this. And then the right hand, play the 3rd, 5th. So you've got this. Now the reason that I do that is so that there are opportunities for you to play the altered tones and take and start doing some colorful things by moving the uh, extensions around and, and adding altered tones. Now, but right now we're just being diatonic and we learned diatonic in the last lesson, which simply means staying in the key without making any alterations. All right, so we have root, seventh, third, fifth. That's a really nice voicing, root, seventh, third, fifth you'll have a lot of success with that. Now, with that major chord, uh, we're going, I'm going to show you the dominant seventh, which means that you have a flat seventh. You'd have a major chord with a flat seventh. Here's a major chord with a regular diatonic seventh. That's a major seventh because you have the B natural, no alterations. But a dominant seventh chord will have an alteration to it. It'll have a flat seventh. So you have C, B flat, E, G. You have that chord there. Still utilizing the root seventh, third, fifth. Now if you want to build a minor seventh chord, root, flat seventh, flat third, fifth you have that it's really easy once you get you know what your flat all figured out it's really pretty easy root flat seventh flat third fifth major seventh root seventh third fifth dominant seven root flat seven third fifth minor seventh root flat seven flat third fifth. Now one last thing I'd like to show you with this is how you alter these notes. Now you could do a let's say a minor seven flat five and it sounds like this. I know a lot of gospel music, a lot of musicians, jazz musicians, gospel musicians use this chord. So all it is is you, it's a minor seven and you remember when we uh, did diminished triads or diminished chords, then you flat the five too. So a lot of times it's, called, it's considered a minor seven flat five or half diminished. I call it, I usually call it a f minor seven flat five. So we have root, flat seven, flat third, flat fifth. Now as we go back and think about the 
memorization, what I had you memorize in a lesson earlier is A, C, E, G, B, D, F. Um, in this chord, we would have a C, some sort of E, some sort of G, and some sort of B. C, E, G, B. That's going to be the chord or the note names or the members of this chord, but there are going to be some version of C, E, G, B, D. C, E, B, G. C, E, G, B. C, which is the root, then you're going to have B flat, E flat, G flat. Now, if we say them in order, we would have C, E flat, G flat, B flat. And you have that minor 7 flat 5. It's really pretty easy. C, E flat, G flat, B flat. C, C, E, G, B, D, F, A. C, E flat, G flat, B flat. If you memorize that, I think that you'll have a lot of success in trying to figure out all of your chords. You'll be able to figure them out. And then when you see them on lead sheets and you see them on music, you'll know what to play. You'll then know what they sound like and you'll understand the altered tones. Now, I want you to go to my next video, and I want you to leave me some comments or send me an email uh, because I'm going to make some uh, of these videos that don't have any of this harmonic information or instructions just to show you how to play it. And I want you to let me know if you really appreciate and like to have the explanations theoretically or you just want me to show you how to play chords. Thank you.